hands together.
Amen, amen. Good morning, church. We just want to take a second to say welcome. Uh, if this is your first time or your, uh, your hundredth time, I want to remind you about the Connect card that's found here in your bulletin. Uh, we've got a place for you to uh, ask questions about becoming a Christian, about baptism, about church membership. Uh, but again, if it's your first time here, we'd love to get your information. We'd love to connect with you. We'd love to, to reach out and see how things are. Uh, so it's a great place to, to do that. I want to remind you about the communion stations that are set up around the church. We've got them all around the perimeter. Uh, as we read the Bible, Jesus says that, that we have communion we're to take communion with him, we're to break the bread, we're to, to, to drink the juice in remembrance of him every time we get together. So we put that out for us, really, to remember who Jesus is and to remember what he did for us. So I ask that you pray, pray with me uh, over this communion and over this time of worship. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to be here. God, we thank you that you've brought each and every one of us here to this place to, to think of you, God, to reflect on our relationship with you. Lord, I pray that lives are changed in this service. Lord, those who are lost in this room would, would come to you. Lord, that you would call us to yourself, God, that decisions would be made, that, that baptism would happen, and Lord, that we would celebrate who you are and what you've done through us. Lord, use this time of, uh, of corporate worship and these, these songs that we're going to sing and remind us of who you are, Lord, the greatness of who you are and how we can be in response to that. Jesus, we love you. We ask that you bless this communion. Bring us to yourself, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. From heaven's throne you came to us and set your heart upon the cross. We'll never know the sacrifice you made for all our sin and all our shame. You took the nails, you took our place, and no one else could do what you have done. Sing one name is higher. And one name is higher. And one name is stronger than any grave, than any throne. And Christ exalted over all. And from the grave where death would die, you rose again and brought us life. You're reigning now, the same. Yes, you are, Lord. You're reigning now, the Savior of the world. Oh, one name is higher, and one name is stronger than any grave, than any throne. And Christ exalts.
Give God praise today. He's exalted. He's holy. He's lifted up. God, we praise you as we lift our hands to you. Lord, we come to you and we thank you that, Lord, you, you alone are worthy of our worship. You alone are worthy of our praise. And God, it's the name of Jesus that's above all names that we lift up high today. So, Lord, as we continue to worship you, as we continue to lift up your name, Lord, we speak that name, Jesus. Jesus, the beautiful name that we speak over all situations, over all things. God, you, you alone can save. And Lord, it's your name that we lift up high today. So it's in the name of Jesus that we continue to worship. Let's sing it out, church. Come on. What a beautiful name. You are the word at the beginning. One with God. The veil tore before you, you silenced the boast of sin and grave. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory, for you are raised to life again. You
Morning, church. Would you please welcome it with me, uh, Kaylee and her father, Andy, into the baptistry this morning? This is my friend Kaylee. She's seven going on 45. <laughs> Kaylee, we're so glad you're here today. I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? Number one, do you believe that Jesus came to, to earth and lived a sinless life? Yes. Good. Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and rose again three days later? Yes. You do. And do you believe that by faith, when you ask Jesus to save you, he came into your heart and he lives there forever and ever and ever? Yes. You do. Then based upon your profession of faith, my little sister, I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Grab my arm. Come It's okay. Hey, we got it. We're not rushing anything. Buried in the likeness of Jesus' death. Raised to walk a new life in Jesus Christ. Kaylee, I'm going to pray with you and your dad, okay? Father God, thank you for Kaylee, for her decision to follow you. God, thank you for her decision to make it public. Lord Jesus, I pray that at seven, you would mark out her life, that she would make a difference, Lord, in her family, in her community, in the kingdom. God, thank you, thank you for Kaylee, Lord Jesus. Thank you that faith is available and salvation is available to anybody that choose to believe, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, we love you, we thank you, we praise you. In Jesus' name, all God's people said. Amen. Church, let's, let's celebrate together. Church, would you welcome Zaya into the baptistry? Zaya is not seven. Say, so I want to ask you some questions, okay? Do you believe that Jesus came to earth and lived a sinless and perfect life? Yes. Yes. Good, strong yes. I like that. Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and rose again three days later? Yes. Also a strong yes. I like that. And do you believe that by faith, when you put your trust in Jesus Christ, he comes and lives in your heart, and you're his forever and ever and ever? Yes. Amen. Very good. That's the best yes, girl. <laughs> now, based upon your profession of faith, I'm going to baptize you. My little sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, buried in Jesus' death, raised to walk a new life in Jesus Christ. Let's pray together, church. Father, thank you for Zaya. God, thank you for her commitment to follow you. God, thank you for her faith and trust in Jesus, Lord. Thank you for this demonstration of faith today. God, I pray you would use her life, help her make wise decisions to follow you, God, to be kingdom-minded, to impact the community, Lord, and the kingdom for you, for you. Father, thank you, Lord. We look forward to wonderful stories about where you're using her uh, right now and in the future. God, we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. All God's people said, amen. 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 Church, welcome Robert to the baptistry. Robert. I'm excited your family's here, but I got some questions for you. Robert, do you believe that Jesus came to this earth and yes, lived I a do. perfect life? Yes, I do. You believe he died on a cross and rose again three days later? Yes, I do. And now he lives inside your heart? Yes, he does. Robert, it's upon that confession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be buried in Christ and risen. Woo! Amen. Amen. Let me pray with you. God, thank you for Robert. Um, thank you for what you've done in his life. And his willingness to serve you now, God. Um, Lord, just let him be a witness to his family, to his friends, and to everybody he's around, God. Thank you for protecting him and bringing him through his walk. In your precious holy name, amen. 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 <laughs> Welcome Zachary to the baptistry. Okay. <laughs> Zachary, I got the same questions for you. Do you believe that Jesus came to this earth and lived a perfect life? Yes, sir. You believe he died on a cross and rose again three days later? Yes, sir. And now he lives inside your heart? Yes, sir. And Zachary, it's upon that confession of faith that I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be buried in Christ and risen. Woo! All right. Amen. God, thank you for Zachary. Thank you for his confession of faith and following you, God. Give him the strength and courage to tell others all about what he, what you've done in his life, Lord. Thank you. Precious Holy Name. Amen. Amen. Welcome, Charles and Nate. Hello. 
they were just talking back here, and they said, it's fun, isn't it funny how they were running around together? Now they're getting baptized together. That's awesome. Right. That's awesome. Woo! Charles, I got a couple of questions for you. Right. Do you believe that Jesus came to this earth and lived a perfect life? Yes, I do. Do you believe he died on a cross and rose again three days later? Yes, I do. Now he lives inside your heart? Yes, sir. Charles, upon that confession of faith, that I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He buried Christ and risen. Stay right here. Nate, i got the same questions for you. All right. Nate, do you believe that Jesus came to this earth and lived a perfect life? Yes. Do you believe he died on a cross and rose again three days later? Yes. And now he lives inside your heart? Yes. Nate, upon that confession of faith, that I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be buried in Christ. Be busy. All right. Amen, amen. Amen. God, thank you for friends. Thank you for friends that can, um, that can come together and know you and that can be baptized together. Lord, let this friendship go and show other people that what Christ has done in their life and what they can do and what you can do for them. In your precious holy name, God, thank you. Amen. Amen. Wow, what a way to start the morning, right? Yeah. We're going to enter into a time of offering, so let's bow and pray together. God, it's in your name, Lord, that we come and that we're able to come into your presence. And we thank you for allowing us to step into your presence this morning. And I just pray that as we are here, that you would receive all the glory and all the honor, all the praise that comes from these walls, Lord, that, that your name would go out of these walls, Lord, and change the hearts that we encounter, that we would be a light to the wor world. We thank you for the stories of redemption we've seen through the water this morning, and we do pray for strength as they continue to walk and follow you, God. God, we come to you giving now, and I pray that our hearts will be obedient and also generous in our giving, because we're giving to you and to your kingdom press upon our hearts how to do that and what you've called us to. We love you, Lord. Receive our praise. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Let it be. 